All right, let's see what happens when the two best Planeswalkers in Modern get together and have a party on our opponent's face. Mac Daddy, Justin the Enabler, this is going to be a drunken fiasco by the end of the night. We'll see. We'll see. I don't, I don't really get drunk personally, but... Hey, K. Smith, thanks for... Kings, thanks for the four-month resub. Thanks for your fun money this way again this month. Yeah, Mac Daddy, if you're resubbing, you have to refresh your browser page and then manually hit to send the notification through. How's this hand? I feel like... I feel like this is a mulligan. We're on the draw, though. This is probably a trap. Yeah, usually I just don't like to keep sevens that don't have two Tron pieces. Like, our our still our basic Tron principles still apply to this deck, right? Look at this hand, just like Tron, Tron, Tron. Hey, Captain said I, with a $25 donation. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Let's get looking to get some teamer shift in the queue. Sounds good. Thank you for that. Spark Elemental, that's scary. Probably like Mono Red Burn. We definitely want to draw a Worm Coil Engine ASAP. I have a bunch of Thrag Tusks in the board, and I also have a bunch of Nature's Claims in the board. Thank you for the continued support, Mac Daddy. Uh, I'm not sure offhand the fish. You should be able to click on there should be a deck list link next to it So yeah, it looks like looks like mono red burn This card's very good in these this mono red deck Worm coil tilt We get two more draws of the worm coil just gonna pick up a tron piece and then We can play and cycle this and still potentially hit a worm coil Sounds good, Justin. You know the rules for cutting the line, so. Just friendly reminder, you should double check and make sure it's something I'm interested in playing. Broke my knee at work and I'm homebound. Thankfully, a smart thin man said all my content gets uploaded to YouTube. Cheesy Pie Gaming, I hope you hope you feel better soon. Glad, glad you're enjoying this stuff. Thanks for the continued support. Going on eight here. We might just die even if we hit the worm coil here, honestly. Thanks for reminding me to re-up my sub, not Stalin, with the six-month resub, half a year. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you very much, folks. I do appreciate that. So we've got tower, power plant. We need a mine. I mean, the good news here is that if we hit a worm coil, we're going to curve worm coil into uh, Ulamog. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's cycle it for a green. That's unfortunate. Cycle this for a green. Fortunately, these come into play tapped. These come into play tapped. We're probably going to be too slow here. We get to play Ulamog next turn, but it's just not going to be enough, most likely. We're at eight here. We had Thrag Tusks in our deck to draw to. We'd be okay, but we don't. Yep. Maybe we'll take away both their lands and they'll only have two mana spells in their hand. Yeah, we're gonna need them to only have two mana spells in their hand. And like, maybe Ulamog can do it. Rid of those dead to a lot bolts lava spikes uh, sh shard volleys etc dead yep a little touch touch too slow story of story of trot on the draw against aggressive decks just like touch too slow all right ugin out ulamog out nature's claims thrag tusks dispels 
Thought not Sears, Oblivion Stone's out, Jace is out. I think I deserve extra credit for resubbing, despite the fact that you are playing Trot. Look, no numbers. Thanks to the three month resub, I do appreciate it. Welcome back. I'm gonna cut these terations, I think, since I'm cutting my double blue spells. I think the contortions are fine. Their deck plays a lot of creatures. Their deck plays a significant number of creatures. So I think Spatial Contortion is more than reasonable. Actually, you know what? Terish, this card's good with our Nature's Claims. Yeah, I definitely should have some of those in my deck still with Nature's Claim. Because, like, the goal of Nature's Claim is that I could use it to kill my own things. This hand's pretty good. I'm definitely going to keep this one here on the play. Hopefully, we can snowball what we have going on here into a turn 3 Thrag Tusk. It's really unfortunate. Um, I think I'm going to be greedy and take the worm coil. I'm going to be greedy and take the worm coil. Yeah, cutting some Karn seems fine. It's definitely going to happen on the draw. The green black trend deck we're going to play later today. Actually, it's three Ulamogs in it, which seems pretty great. I think I'm going to pass here and just leave Spatial Contortion up. I'm just going to pass and leave Spatial Contortion up. I mean, we're not playing this deck because it's good. Like, if people only played decks in Modern because they were good, half the shit people played wouldn't get played. We put Jace into our Tron deck because it sounds sweet. That's that's why there's Jace in our Tron deck chat. If people if people only played optimal and good decks in modern, would there only be like five decks? Variety is the spice of life. Browbeat. You can draw three cards, opponent. Do I wish to take five damage? No. No, I do not. No. I do not. The sphere, correct. Or a Turation, whatever it's called. Look at that. Tron, 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 Tron. Is this a concession Thrag Tusk? Feels like a concession Thrag Tusk. Lord knows nobody has ever registered Leon and Arbiter because it's good. It's def it's certainly because they like playing it. Sorry, Karn. Worm Coil is much better here. People who play Brow Beat don't kid seed. That's probably true. Probably true. <laughs> Magma Jet. Okay, I'm going to let this resolve. And then I'm going to nature's claim my chromatic sphere. Just going to... Just gonna get my gain four in while the gaining is good. Two cards gain four. Yes, in in for two cards gain four. Go. going on iron we're gonna have a 12 hour owl stream on sunday this is a friendly league I'm giving you a timeout 
That's just that's just what I'm gonna do from now on when people imply that friendly or competitive leagues are drastically different on Magic Online. They're not, chat. If you've never played Magic Online before, the friendly leagues and competitive leagues are very effectively the same. The only difference between the two is how much the rake is. So the people that are more degenerate gamblers will play the competitive leagues. That's that's the big difference between the two. Like the quality of the decks you find between them in, in and this is speaking to specifically specifically modern. This is speaking to specifically modern. Modern is a format where people play lots of piles of garbage in every every league. There are times where we play competitive leagues and we play against no tiered decks in five matches, and there's times where we play friendly leagues and we play against five tiered decks in five matches. I don't know, Shadow. It would it would definitely it would definitely depend. It depends on a lot of factors, but the a lot of the decks that people play in modern they aren't playing because they think they're great or they think they're super powerful. They're playing them because they enjoy playing them, and that's that's okay. Like a big part of magic is playing something that you enjoy playing. I hate I hate the I hate the people just like trying to argue like X is more competitive or less competitive, etc. There's good and bad magic players at almost every at almost every form of large magic event. Like there are there are players who aren't very good at everything ranging from your FNM to the Pro Tour. You do not have to be a professional or even competent magic player to play on the Pro Tour. Variance goes both ways. Players who are below average do occasionally queue for the Pro Tour. The upper echelon, the top 1% or maybe even 5% of players at the Pro Tour are going to be very, very good Magic players. But to imply that every person on the Pro Tour is a top-notch Magic player is just like factually incorrect. Yeah, I agree, Quald. And, and like I said, I think a big part of it is how, how willing you are to gamble, right? Like if you're more of a degenerate gamble, there's more risk to reward with the competitive leagues. World Breaker over the last card. Yeah, I like that actually, Mac Daddy. That would have been that would have been good. If I'd have seen that before I clicked submit, I'd have made that change. Uh, I don't think this hand is keepable. This spell's not good enough. I have two Tron pieces, but like I have no cantrips to find our way to a third. I guess if we hit any artifact. I guess if we hit any artifact, I get this nature's claim online. What do we think? I think this is a mulligan. What do we what do we think here? I think I want to throw this back. I don't know about snap, but I think it's probably... It's probably fine. Yeah, like this hand is great, right? Just like Tron, 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 Worm Coil. I'm going to bottom this looking for Thrag Tusks, Nature's Claim, stuff like that. Hand has blue spells in modern while I get a burgle with the, with the hot takes. I think that, that first hand's a lot closer, especially in the draw, than a lot of people are making it out to be, but I think mulliganing it's fine, especially in Tron, where, like, our sixes can be very good. Holy dicks, that feels bad. Nature's claim. All right, so... I'm setting up... I think I'm going to be really conservative here and just go Chromatic Star Gain 4... And the way Chromatic Star is worded, I still get to draw a card here, which is why I boarded in all my nature's claims. So I'm not going to have Tron till turn four regardless here, unless I got exceptionally lucky. So I think just like locking in my gain four is worthwhile here. Yes, it really is, Matmatic. Keldon Marauders, yep. Two mana, five damage. So we'll get to go ahead and Sylvan Scrying here. We'll have a Worm Coil next turn. Most likely. Well, that's, that's funny. 
Um, what am I even scrying for now at this point? Am I just getting an island? I don't really have a lot of ways to trigger the Sanctum. I actually have exactly one card to trigger the Sanctum. So I think I'm just going to get an island here in case I draw a Dispel. You think I want to get a power plant in case they stone raid me? I guess getting power plant in case we get stone molten range is fine. Yeah, I guess power plant is probably the conservative choice here. Although, like, if they molten rain me, can I win the game? I'm going to take the island because I think if they molten rain me, I can't win the game anyways. If they Molten Rain me, I'm taking six plus the other cards in their hand. Yeah, we're probably dead if they Molten Rain me. I feel like I can't recover if they Molten Rain me, so I'd rather play to, like, drawing a Dispel and being able to Dispel a Skull Crack the turn I attack them with Worm Coil on five. We're going to 11. We're going to go to 10 when this dies next turn. They have three cards in their hand. So, excuse me, depending on what their draw step is, we could definitely die on their next turn. Yeah, the, the Legacy Tron deck was something we played a lot before everyone on Magic Online realized how messed up Grixis Delver was. Let's start by cycling this and see what we get. Ooh, Thought Knot Seer is a good one. Do I want Thought Knot or do I want another Worm Coil? I probably just want another Worm Coil, all right? Yeah, let's just do that. And if we don't die on their next turn, they could skull crack us here and then kill us on their next turn. They're gonna get skull cracked here. Yep. And then we're going to five if they block with this, which they probably will. Weird, no blocks. All right. That's really strange. All right, so they have to draw a live one here. They could go three us, three us. And they need to be burned spells. They can't be creatures. Surf Bull. Yep, dead. That's sad. I wonder... I think I messed that up. I think... I think I was supposed to have taken the Thought Knot there. If I take the Thought Knot, I'd get to take a card out of their hand. They'd still Skull Crack us that turn, but then, yeah. Yeah, if we take the Thought Knot here, we actually end up winning this game, right? Like, and I don't need the extra health gain from the thought from the Worm Coil engine, so, like, the Thought Knot here is just upside. Because, like, if we Thought Knot them, and they only have one spell in their hand, and they fire it off in response, like, we're still pretty happy with that result, right? Because, like, we're going to be at six and they don't have any spells and they're drawing for the turn. So we definitely would have won this game or likely like the only way we lose this game is if we take the Thought Knot and then they draw a Skull Crack for their turn. So I definitely took the wrong card off the Ancient Stirrings there. It was a close game and like they had to draw a live one to kill us there even with the Worm Coil, but we could have not given them the out of drawing there are two burn spells if I would have taken the Thought Knot Seer. <laughs> so it seems okay. 
It's got a stirrings, it's got a spatial contortion. I wasn't guaranteed to gain three. They could have, they could, we're gonna get a rematch here. This is a different player on budget burn. I guess it could be regular burn. They did mold a six here. I'm gonna go mine into the filter card here, I think. If you look at my Twitter, there's a bunch of decks that I'm planning on playing today. You can also look at the donation queue. They are all, all of them in there. Oh, eight whack, okay. What are the two extra whacks at the end? There's the, the bushwhacker and whatnot, the other one of those. So what's the, what's the other one you're mentioning? It makes this Oblivion Stone much better, which is great. Um, crack this for green. Hellboy MPLS, thank you for the 413 subscription. I do appreciate that. Thanks for sending your fun money this way again this month. Yep, yeah, I've got a bottle of water. Right there, there's a power plant. This might end up being a little slow still. Maybe I should have, because I didn't have... Oh wait, cancel. Am I gonna have to discard a card? I am gonna have to discard a card. Yeah, maybe that was wrong and I should have played the Spatialist turn. I guess we'll discard this Jace the Mind Sculptor. People are right, we're just gonna have like five matches of boarding out Jace. And take eight here. Down to eight. I'm gonna die to a goblin grenade next turn. I can feel it. I can feel it, chat. We're gonna die to a goblin grenade. It isn't it isn't going to be pretty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stick it in me. Stick it in me, Mr. Goblin Chief did. We're gonna be dead to a bolt here too. Contort this guy. We're gonna take five here still, so we're dead to bolt, dead to goblin grenade. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna play a more traditional green-based, uh, green-black Tron later today. Dead. All right, we're basically gonna board like we did against the burn deck. I guess, I guess that's not true actually because Ugin and Oblivion Stone have text boxes here and all is dust is fine. I definitely want these Thrag Tusks. I guess the Thought Not Seer is not particularly good, right? And the dispels probably aren't great, so I'm gonna board in Thrag Dads and Nature's Claims for these dorks here. And the Hall is Dust.
Justin with the hundred dollar donation. The first deck we play when Matt gets there should be Owling Mine since he loves that deck so much. Deal in. We will we will queue up the Owling Mine when Manny gets here. Thank you. Thank you for the donation, Justin. Why did I click keep? Should I have clicked keep? Was that a bad keep? Ah, it's got turn four thrag test potentially. It's funny too, because I told Maddie we were gonna play Grixis Shadow when he got here. It's fine, it's fine. Maddie's got a bottle of vodka on the shelf upstairs. Look at that. Strong deck so hard. Strong deck so tough, chat. It's so tough playing a Tron deck. All right, make some green mana here. Go get a mine. This is the easy game, right? This is the game we get to be on the play. Nature's claim on top of our deck. That's actually a pretty good, a pretty good hit here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this. No, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I messed it up, chat. I messed it up. I should have played the forest. I want. I intended to play the forest and then nature's claim this, but now I, that's not an option. Mistakes were made, chat. Mistakes were made. It's on a shelf in the freezer. It's fine. Hopefully, hopefully our parade of Thrag Tusks will be good enough here. Well, depending on how wide they go here, we might just Eugene. What a tilt. What a tilt. Just super punished here. Just got, got smashed because of my sequencing mistake. So we're going to go to seven... I'm gonna Ulamog them or Ugin them. You guys wanna Ugin them? That's a Worm Coil Engine. Yeah, I'm just gonna Worm Coil Engine now that we drew that. Strahd's a tough deck. You gotta really think through all these lines. And we have Nature's Claim to prevent this from getting smashed to smithereens for too much health. My cat bumped my hand, so now I have a ton of extra bits. Have some. Thank you for the bits, the fish. I do appreciate that. <laughs> the old, the old, the old, do I, do I attack back and forth here? Probably have a concession Ugin next turn. I can only assume we're about to see a concession Ugin here. Goblin grenades a sorcery, right? Or is it an instant? No, it's a sorcery. That's what I thought. I thought grenade was a sorcery, but let's have me doubt myself there. Concession Ugin. Hmm. Hmm. We're still playing magic. Weird. Strange. What an interesting idea. I could have played the Chromatic Star. It actually doesn't matter. I 
Manamorphose, quick your grenade, right? That's the thing that could happen. The opponent's still playing magic because they don't value their time. There's a lot of people on Magic Online that don't value their time very highly. This is cute. They, they're like hitting the Ugin for five. They have the moral victory, right? They've hit, they've hit my Ugin for damage. And they concede to the, th just. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, they, they realized that where the game was heading. All right, submit. Every great line starts out monkey, monkey, metamorphose, right? This hand's not good enough, right? Just nowhere, nowhere near. This hand has a spatial contortion in it at least. Um, do I want this green source? Probably, probably not. I actually don't have a good thing to shatter with this. So I think I just want to bottom that so I can try and find Tron pieces here. You have to be more specific than that. Uh, PRP, there's a lot of websites on the internet, believe it or not. Other nature's claim feels pretty bad. I'm gonna get smashed to smithereens here and be super tilted. Yeah, I'm playing the map on one. But it's not, we don't have guaranteed three lands anyways. Like if we get smashed to smithereens, we feel pretty bad, but like that's gonna feel pretty bad at some point regardless. So like, you know, smash me. Mog Fanatic's okay. Mog Fanatic like fogs a worm coil and deals an extra damage to me on top of just being like an okay one drop. Hoping for a tower or a power plant or a power plant. Hoping for a tower or a power plant, plant, plant. Is not the droid we're looking for, chat. We get to hold up spatial contortion slash map here. I'm not dropping any frames on my end. So if you're having an issue, it's either your, your service or Twitch. They have, uh, they have another, they have another whack here. Yep. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and spatial contortion this one. We're going to take six here, but this saves us the most damage in the long term. We're probably going to be too slow. Turn four Tron, it's pretty slow. We don't even have guaranteed turn four Tron. Like we're at a virtual eight right now because of these Mog Fanatics. Definitely punted game three in our first match, but there really wasn't a whole lot I could do here. I think I'm just supposed to get a Tron piece and like hope to hit a live one here. I guess I get redraws with this. Did do a lot here. Chieftain's lethal. Yeah, Chieftain's lethal. Good games, opponent. Good games. This is a pretty terrible meme. And by terrible, I mean we're basically just playing Green Tron with Jaces in it, and the Jaces haven't mattered because we've boarded them out. Oh, we, we've Our opponents in two matches in a row have not played lands other than basic mountains, which is just, like, sad for most builds of Tron. Most builds of Tron are going to be really sad playing against mono basic mountains. What's going on, Immortal? Howdy, howdy. I, I think my favorite thing 
about the whole, I'm just going to call it a fiasco, the Jace fiasco, is the number of people that continue to double down on cards like Stoneforge Mystic and Green Sun Zenith and just these other cards is they're certain that these cards are too good to do good for modern and like these other these are the same idiots who were adamant that like Jace was too good for modern I'm like do you, are you incapable of learning and like adjusting your belief system like entirely just like completely unable to change your opinion after like having a direct thing that shows that you were wrong the first time and maybe we should be more open-minded the second time batter skull has lifelink and vigilance right it's unreal it's it's too powerful hogland you don't understand you don't understand it's just too powerful all right uh grab a mine here play the mine play the map Uh, what's the old saying fool me once shame on you fool me twice twice i'm a big dumb stupid <laughs> yeah yeah and i think i think a lot of people were cautious about were cautious about these cards being introduced into modern and like that's fine being cautious is fine <laughs> <laughs> Tron, 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 Tron. I'll lean on Worm Coil here. It kind of sucks that we drew we drew two of our three basics here because there's a good chance they're a path to exile deck. I guess they could be a blue-red deck, but... You get greed sign for from the ball giant arbor, right? <laughs> Actually, the the mana cost on Stoneforge Mystic alone is a big reason why you can consider it probably pretty safe. Because like Stoneforge Mystic takes four mana to do anything, right? To have a meaningful impact on the board. It really sucks that we drew two of our three basics against a deck that uh or we open two of our three basics against a deck it's likely full of paths and stuff start by attacking with this worm coil how do we feel i think i'm gonna go ahead and do this for my sanctum and i'm gonna wait to play my card until i have a sanctum to trigger it's like i don't know what's in their hand but it's probably some amount of counter spells right so i'm gonna grab a sanctum of ugin and then next turn we can go sanctum play card and go get an ulamog good morning jeff thank you ren drag for the bits i do appreciate that howdy howdy thank you everyone hope everyone's having a great great weekend thanks for choosing to spend part of your your time here with us so we play some magic the gathering what on earth is in their hand these have like a bunch of supreme verdicts and detention spheres i'm i'm genuinely unsure of what they could possibly have in their hand i'm gonna crack one of these maps and go get another tower um because we'll need that mana for ulamog at some point but i'm not gonna crack the second map because i want to be able to uh what's the word i'm searching for i want to be able to um be able to replace a tron piece that they field of rune or spreading seas i don't know i don't like to make predictions like that shadowless like magic players love to sit there and like predict the future but i've got a i've got a good piece of news for you people that could actually predict the future are going to do something a lot more profitable than spec on what decks would be good in magic when things get unbanned my answer my answer for that is gonna be the same as when we were waiting on jason bloodbraid elf let's like when we get the cards let's play some actual games with them and then figure out what they're actually good in let's not just try and let's not just try and predict the future because that's silly and a waste of time or we could just draw ulamog naturally because tron is the greatest magic deck 
in the history of modern. Just... I should have attacked with the Worm Coil first here in case they had a path, but I'm going to be honest, I got a little excited that we drew the Ulamog and I didn't want to wait. Tron, 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 Tron. I love all the people that were very adamant that, like, this was a good matchup for blue-white. Could have cracked map and played Sanctum, then cracked map two to... No, my goal is to have a map left over. My goal is to have a map left over when this is all done. Because if there's a map left over, it insulates me against one of my opponent. My opponent disrupting one of my Tron pieces. Jeff singing the Tron song makes my day. Thanks for the bits, Lukatog. For reference, just so people understand where I stand in Modern, I think Tron lands are one of the most offensive things currently legal in Modern. I think it's obnoxious that we're able to... I, I think it's funny that people will tell you, like, Stoneforge Mystic is too good, but, like, this is fine. Hey, Professor Yana, two years. Give me that new gem. Good luck in Milwaukee. Thanks, Tom. I'm gonna need it. Thank you for the continued support. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I'm just going to kill their lands. I realize I could get an Ulamog back here, but stone raining my opponent twice sounds way better. I mean, if you got banned, you wouldn't be able to post right now. Maybe you got a timeout. You probably got a timeout. That's probably what happened since you're posting right now. Oh no, not Field of Rune. How can we ever win the game now, chat? This is, this is, oh no, not a Gideon. This is, this is so unfair, chat. How can we, oh man, this blue white control deck, it's so unfair. It's so unfair. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're just gonna like Karn this planes. Then I'm gonna Karn this other planes. And then I'm gonna cast another Worm Coil engine. Hey, Vico, thank you very much for the tier one subscription. Welcome, welcome. I know you've been here a while. Thank you for the support. I do appreciate that. Hey, Justin with the $12 donation. Unban Chrome Box so we can meme faster. Also put this towards the sphere pile. Will do. Will do. Oh, now that's, that's where, now we're done. They weren't. <laughs> oh, control players. I liked how they were still playing the game up until that point, but that, that was the breaking point. No, no, when I ban someone in chat, I don't see. They just can't post. All right, what am I doing? What I, we found a matchup where the Jace is good, chat. We found a matchup where the Jace is good. No, I don't do 1v1 commander. I just don't find the format particularly enjoyable. The best of one format that you have to play on Magic Online, I find truly miserable. Thought Knot seems good. Thragdad is fine. Uh, Oblivion Stones are good at killing their Planeswalkers and spreading seas and stuff. I think Eugene's a little bit slow. I think I want the Ulamog at my top end just because, like, getting a double Stone Rain is A+. I'm going to trim a Sylvan Scrying. Do I want these Dispels? I kind of put these Dispels in my board for, like, combo decks. But maybe they're good here. Maybe they're good here. Yeah, like, Commander's already a pretty high-variance format, and then, like, taking a high-variance format and then, like, making it best of one just, like, turns the variance knob even harder. Because Hoaglid's in the suit. <laughs> uh, what do we think? Chat, dispels or no? Which, which spell? Do we want this one? Which spell? Is it this one here, or do we not want it? What do we think? 
What do we think? The left which which of these? I feel like I feel like nah. Yeah, I'm just gonna run it. Let's just run it. We're doing Tron things like opponents playing a control deck for some reason in modern. <laughs> and for the other sphere pile, yep. Thank you for the donation, Justin. But by the time Dominaria releases on Magic Online, we will play your Sphere Piles first. This hand is great. It's very good. Opponent Mulligans. Oh, you know what? I didn't board in. I should have brought in Nature's Claims. I wasn't thinking about it. They have uh, Stony Silence post board a lot of the time. And they have spreading season detention sphere, so not boarding. It's been a little while since I've played Green Tron. This is a good warm up for the Green Black Tron later. I do owe you a surgical meme. I need to build that. When is the fourth? What day is that? You want me to do it when? Wednesday the fourth? Yeah, I can make that happen. Can you remind me on the third, Justin? Remind me on the third. What's going on, Aaron? Howdy, howdy. I think it's Tony Silence on two and just like weep silently. I think playing decks that are not inherently proactive in modern put yourself, generally speaking, at a disadvantage. But if you enjoy playing blue-white control, it's not that much worse than a lot of the decks people play. So if you enjoy it, play it. But blue-white control is not a deck I would recommend to anyone on strict power level. Blue-white control is a deck that you should be playing because you're like, oh, this is really sweet and I really enjoy the control archetype. You should not be you should not pick up blue white control because you want it to be the best deck in the format. For that get wrong Tob Stevens pile already in the queue. Thank you very much for the bits for XD Manatai. I'll get that one pushed on up there. Green black Gitrog. Field of Rune. That's rude. It's gonna thought not to see your you next turn opponent. The forest here. Um, do I just cast this O stone? I think I want to just cast this O stone. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, it's just it is just practice, and you and parents learn their own kids. Like you learn how what your kids screams mean. A hey, 97 Zeke with that brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I do appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here. The stream that we're doing right now is a big thank you to all of my subs. I'm uh, I'm doing this full time now because y'all are great and have shown an immense amount of support. I really appreciate that. Well then, that is certainly a handful of Magic the Gathering cards. Am I just taking Cryptic Command here? It's like 10 out of 10 Cryptic Command, right? I think so. These thought knots in the board are great. The problem the problem with the control decks is that Tron's like a combo control deck, right? Where you basically um you're basically applying a lot of pressure or your when your opponent doesn't apply pressure to you, the amount of disruption that they have is largely irrelevant because 
you you just get to play through it essentially yeah the team the teamer kiki deck is is 10 out of 10 a lot of fun it's one of my favorite decks in modern right now for sure This is just Snapcaster Mage, right? We're just going to kill them before the Sphinx's Revelation ever matters. They're going to get to path me again here. I'm going to get another land. Yeah, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cycle this for green. Maybe we hit another. There's merit to holding this in case we drew a Jace, but... I'm going to play this out in the hopes they Detention Spirit next turn. Because if they path me here, which they're likely to do... I get to get my seventh mana source. That means I get to Karn them next turn. So like hopefully they'll go land D-Sphere this so I can't assemble Tron and then we'll just like Karn and start taking their lands away. Yeah, like... A lot of the blue-white hands aren't good against Tron, though. You need, you need like, a Gideon on three plus disruption a lot of the time. Anonymous with the $20 donation. I'd like to start a surgical meme fund for Jeff to build a better version after we play on the fourth. <laughs> I'm actually going to build the one on the fourth. So we're going to throw the surgical meme. We played a deck with four surgicals in the main deck last. Um, had a crab zombie. On the sub celebration stream, appreciating the lack of music so I can always listen to my own stuff. Thank you. Thank you for the bit, zombie. Oh, geez. They just. They swung and they missed. What if. What if we took away two of their three lands, chat? What do you think? Mo power plant, tower. We'll grab a mine. Do you think my opponent. Do you think my opponent is intending to use these lands? Do you think. I think these were a thing they were hoping to have down the line? What if we just didn't have lands instead? What if instead of having lands, we didn't? Is the Apostle deck considered a surgical bee? That's a good question. Actually, out of basics now, so we'll, we'll decline to search. Spot check for a negate here before we slam the current father into play. Well, I'm just going to take a path that is out of their hands so they can't kill my thing. They should have pathed me in response to their opponent. Play, play my next stone rain. This is the real, this is the best Ponza deck in modern for anyone that's wondering. I know there's this green red Ponza deck that people have started playing recently, but let's let's get a shout out to the OG Ponza deck, Tron. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone that's hanging out here today. If you're new, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a TCG player and content producer. I stream full time here on Twitch. If you are enjoying what you see and help me make more of this content, please consider subscribing on Twitch. My subscribers are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do it. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors, mtgotraders.com. We'll have to buy and sell some magic online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Uh, InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code Jeff12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironics and you. Anironics would like to remind you to make sure you hit that follow button at the very least. It doesn't cost you anything. It lets you when lets you know when I go live and with what. If you're not able to catch me while I'm live, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel has 100% of my streams archived there, so you can check them out at your convenience at your own speed. Yeah, the owl stream is going to be 9 a.m. cornfield start time. I'm pretty sure this is just a go to five hand. To the Tron deck mulligan, the green Tron decks mulligan pretty consistently because we're just looking for a few specific cards. 
This five isn't good, but it's functional, so I'm gonna keep it. Ancient Stirrings is definitely a card I'm interested in drawing. Red, green, Tronza. Anironix is a viewer just like you. He's a viewer who has a very large bit badge. Is this just like the first two matches we lost today were to just mono, mono mountains? Justin with the $20 donation. Surgical meme on the queue. After it gets to 300, we get a league. I don't feel like building an entire deck right now. I don't. A. Hey. Unban mental misstep. Your username is a terrible suggestion, but I appreciate I appreciate the support. So thank you. Thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not building a deck on stream right now, Justin. I, I promise you we will play it next week. I promise you we will scrub scrub a league with it next week. What on earth is this? Fanatical Firebrand. Oh, this is like a strictly better Frenzied Goblin or the other one, right? And it's a pirate, so it's like a strict upgrade. We get to Osto next turn, so hopefully we have a next turn. I guess it isn't strictly better, right? It uh, it has to tap to sacrifice. Yeah, it's not strictly better. It's not Mog Fanatic plus plus. So I, I use strictly better in the in, in incorrect sense. I didn't I didn't notice it had a tap symbol there. I did not, did not notice it had a tap symbol there, so it is slightly different. Well, this is great. They not have anything else to play here? They have like a handful of goblin grenades. Tower. I think I'm just gonna play and crack the Oblivion Stone right now. So that way they can't sack these or goblin grenade next turn. I feel like they, like, they almost certainly have at least one grenade in their hand, right? Just clear that out. This is good for us. We might have a chance. We won the die roll. The last two times we played against a bunch of basic mountains, we lost the die roll. So having won the die roll here is a pretty significant leg up. Yeah, I technically should leave this one for them because it makes them take damage. Hey, we won a game one. That's sweet. All right. Let's get rid of these. Uh, I want nature's claims and thrag tusks. And the soul's dust. I think that's what I want to do. Sounds good. It's good to me. Um... The Jace is in the Tron deck because Jace is the best card in modern and he's gonna ruin the format, so we had to we had to splash him in. Yeah, see he doesn't do anything. Let's mulligan. Yeah, I'll keep this one with a scry. It's got some redraws in it. Bottom of non-tron piece. I like how the Mog Fanatic is just mooning us. Yeah, the Nature's Claim is strictly for gaining health. Some, sometimes they have Blood Moon in the board, but I brought in the Nature's Claims to gain health, Justin, with the 20. You don't have to play it today. I just wanted to see another beam in the queue. Obviously, I'm here to enable beams. All right, all right. Surgic, surgical memes. Modern 330 2018 and you guys have sent in $52 so far. Someone sent in a different donation earlier. Get teamer shift in the queue. Yeah, let's get that one in. My auto pass key. Well, I mean, that's better than that's better than missing a land drop, right? It's like not exactly what we're looking for, but 
We'll do in a pinch. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast this Terration here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and Nature's Claim it, because it still can trips when it dies, and we get to gain four here. So sign me up. I just found the stream this month and subbed because I love the content. When I think of Blue Black Fairies of Modern, I think Fairies is one of those like close to competitive decks that's just like missing some kind of key card in it. I think it's a reasonable choice if you're like looking for a tier two deck that you enjoy, but I don't think I don't think it's anything. Oh, they did send in the other one was a twenty two, wasn't it? And it it was sixty. You're right. You're right. <laughs> tron 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 tron's a tough deck chat tron tron's a tough deck it's uh it's hard to play i don't i don't know exactly what it's missing i just feel like it's missing something right never didn't have it <laughs> yes we will not be bested by mountains donating for the four color cocoa list you okay on twitter extra democracy Twitter. feel free like tuning the sideboard can you re-message me on twitter chic and mention that you sent in the donation for it today um ideally in the future uh please make sure you put the deck list in the donation message it's easier for me to track it that way I appreciate the donation, so just ping me so I remember to get that added correctly. Is this hand good enough? I decided if you top eight with owls, I'm buying the deck in foil. The deck seems sweet. Um, this isn't good enough, right? It's like pseudo two Tron pieces. I guess we're on the draw. Nah, I'm gonna mulligan. The close seven into the unkeepable six into the we'll keep the bad five with a scry on the draw. This hand, this hand could have turn, could have turn whatever tried. Oh no, oh no. We flew too close to the sun chap. I was gloating about being able to beat mountains and Moto's like, nah, bro, I got you. I have another mountain deck. I, uh, what's the word I'm searching for? Um, I don't have all the details for the Owling Mind list for Milwaukee worked out yet. This Sunday, we're going to be having a 12-hour Owling Mind marathon here on stream. We're going to play only different iterations of the Owling Mind deck all day. And by the end of the stream, we're hopefully going to lock into whatever I'm interested in playing. Come on, give me, give me, an, give me another Tron piece. We can turn three Worm Coral. Come on. Come on, Goblin Guide. Come on, Goblin Guide. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Tron, peace. Damn it, Hogland. Got got to be more specific, chat. Got to got to be more specific. All right, I think we're dead. Turn four Tron is usually too slow in this matchup. Turn four Tron should be too slow. Oh, you know, owl stuff. Is it, is it funny or depressing that I was paid more money to dress up as, as an owl and play a magic tournament than I got paid to teach a class for an entire semester? What do, what do we think? Social commentary, funny sad like what is who does it speak poorly of <laughs> all right we cut cards i'm gonna bring in these dispels over these last two cards i think and just do this yeah they go these are the cards i want why not both i feel like bo both is probably a good line both is probably a good line it's a dark comedy <laughs> Did I offer to teach the class as an owl though? That's a good, that's a good line. I'll have to bring that up when I'm negotiating next time. Uh, 
No, adjuncts at some some colleges get paid less than two grand to teach a class for an entire semester. Like a three credit hour class. Does this seem good enough? It's got Dispel and it's got two spatials in it. I'm gonna keep this. I mean, a lot, a lot, and a lot, a lot more colleges these days are moving away from having full-time faculty to only having adjunct professors because they get to pay them so much less. This is, so, am I getting a Tron piece here or am I getting a green source? Uh, $10 per hour in the U.S. is approximately minimum wage. I'm actually just going to dispel this. Gives us another draw before we decide what we want to do with this. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to get... If they don't give us something to spatial contortion here, I think I'm going to go get a botanical sanctum. I think because I found this other non-tron piece, I just want to, like, guaranteed be able to cast my Thrag Tusk. You're not wrong, Brecken Sky. You're not. I'm not going to argue with you. I actually, I, you know, I'm fortunate and I recognize that I have some privilege. I can't actually tell you what minimum wage is in Illinois. I haven't, I haven't had to, I haven't worked a minimum wage job in over a decade. Have I ever worked a minimum wage job? I'm not sure I've ever worked a minimum wage job. I got really fortunate during undergrad and high school, and um, I worked doing uh, technical support that was more than minimum wage at a at a uh, small theater. So it's eight and a quarter. Um, this hand's not good enough, right? Just doesn't do anything. It's got, I guess it's got Tron. I guess it's got Tron. Sheik, Twitch Prime support, three months in a row, a quarter of a year. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Yep, yeah, traveling to play Magic is like less than minimum wage, right? That's, that's, like, that's probably less than minimum wage, actually. I'm just, we're, let's just draw worm coils. I'm just going to keep this hand. It's got Tron on turn three. Let's just keep it. Usually, I modeled this deck off of um, the green black Tron mana bases. So I've got one botanical. <laughs> oh, Tron things. Um, I modeled this deck off of the green black Tron mana bases, which are usually one fast land and then three pain lands or some number of pain lands. Don't smash me. Don't smash me. Don't smash me. Stop it. No, God bless. All right, we're dead, chat. We're dead. Oh, Thought Knot's actually a really good draw. We're not going to play for two turns, but it's pretty good. Uh, people who work for minimum wage in the United States by and large live in poverty. The, the minimum wage in the United States is not a living wage. It's not by any stretch of the imagination. So people that are in other countries that are wondering, how can you live on that? Most people can't. Yeah, yeah we're, we're very dead. All right, we beat, we beat one of, we played against a bunch of mountains four times in that league. Um, we actually, so we actually never put a Jason to play we basically just played mono green Tron with, with really bad mana. That's not politics. That's just a fact. Minimum wage is not a living wage. That's, that's not political. That's factual. Anybody tells you that's political is an idiot. That's just, that's just a fact. You can't, you can't live on minimum wage. It's just, uh, 
we actually punted one of the one of the games that we played with this deck. I don't know. Tron's a good deck. Even when we even when we shoved a bunch of bad cards and awkward lands into it, it was still fine. Um, eh. I don't I don't know if I have specific feedback. Someone we just made a joke about playing Jason Card in the same deck, so we put we put Jason Card into the same deck. You know, we put Jason Card into the same deck. Is this better than regular Tron? Almost certainly not. In fact, we're gonna play a more traditional regular Tron list later today at some point. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I didn't say whether or not I thought minimum wage should be a living wage. That would be political, giving my opinion on it. But stating that it's a fact that it's not is just, that's just factual, okay? I stand by that not being political. All right, what are we playing next? What are we playing next? Let's, let's do something sweet. We played Blue Green Tron. I think I want to save the Reservoir Eggs deck for when Klutz is over later, because that's a, that's a very Klutz deck. So I think we're gonna try this teamer control deck next. This deck looks sweet. I promise sweet decks and this deck definitely qualifies. <laughs> I don't know, the only Just Guy Ascendancy deck I'm familiar with is the four color build that we've played on stream. So if you have a different version of Just Guy Ascendancy that's not four colors, I have no idea what that looks like. Popper's fine, we've played Popper on stream before. When we get enough Popper donation deck lists in the queue, we're going to play Popper again. Uh, it's a, it's a paradoxical outcome reservoir deck. That's, 